I went to Charlotte last week to gather some information for this video, and I'll admit I expected to dislike it. It can feel very much like your own water. The diversity. How are you doing? and blacks can, didn't go I've there. I've been to Charlotte on various occasions to drop my son off at college, to visit the only Ikea in the state of North Carolina, to go to Lake Norman for vacation, and to visit the totally incredible Renaissance Festival. But to be honest, even though Raleigh arguably does have fewer attractions to offer, I had a pretty big Raleigh is better than Charlotte chip on my shoulder going into this video. I was expecting traffic, congestion, a vast suburban sprawl, twice the size of Raleigh, and I've definitely experienced those things when I've been in Charlotte, so they're true, but Charlotte surprised me. As I researched and talked to people in Charlotte, I began to think that Charlotte might even be a place that I would move. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the overall character and feel of both Raleigh and Charlotte. We'll talk about the amenities they each offer, their proximity within the state and how that affects the lifestyle in each city, transportation, their downtown districts, and housing. As a general rule of thumb, Charlotte has more of the feel of a big city and Raleigh has more of the feel of a small town. Some of that is due to the way the cities were originally laid out and the plans the early founders had for each city. While Charlotte has wide streets and was designed around plans for the tall buildings necessary to be a banking capital, which is what Charlotte set out to do from the beginning, Raleigh city growth was restricted by a five square plan laid out in 1792. They weren't thinking about skyscrapers at that time, so rather than planning for tall buildings, they all happened by accident. Raleigh never wanted to be or planned to be a large city. Charlotte did. And you can still feel that vibe in each city. When Charlotte was planning for banks and tall buildings, Raleigh was building universities and attracting scientists. These things impact the feel of each place. The triangular Area has one of the highest numbers of colleges per capita in the U.S., and this has a big effect on the local culture. Charlotte also has colleges and universities, but not as many for its size, so the schools don't have as much of an impact on everyday life. Raleigh has more of a youthful and artistic vibe dominated by music, food, and culture. Charlotte has more of the feel of a larger city where the culture is dominated by sports, NASCAR, and banking. Even when you look at the two major colleges in each city, UNC Charlotte and NC State, you can see the differences. Raleigh is primarily known for engineering, bioengineering, and life sciences. These are more creative fields with more of a problem-solving type of mindset. Charlotte is more dominated by management. When you're walking around Charlotte, you see a lot more management types walking around downtown than you do in Raleigh. Now, I don't know exactly how to quantify that, but you look at someone and you think to yourself, that's the person that works in an office. There just seems to be more of them there than there are here in Raleigh. Raleigh's more scientist and less banker. Now, Raleigh is the state capital, so we definitely win the question of who's got more politicians and lawyers, and you can decide for yourself whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But even having said that, I think one thing both cities seriously lack is a strong brand. Austin is weird. New York City is the city that never sleeps, Chicago is the windy city, but Raleigh and Charlotte, neither one has a strong brand. We call Raleigh the city of oaks, and while there are a lot of oak trees and it's very green here, that isn't its personality. Charlotte is the queen city after Queen Charlotte, the city's namesake, which has nothing to do with the character of the city. In my opinion, neither Raleigh nor Charlotte know who they are yet. If you live in either city or have spent time here, let me know what qualities you think really speak to each city. I think we really need that brand before we actually become a cool place to be. So we're just leaving downtown now. We're going to head out just a couple of miles from here to my friend's um, shop. She used to live in Raleigh and she moved a couple of years ago to Charlotte because, um, well, I'll let her tell us that when we get there, but we're going to go talk to her about why she preferred Charlotte over Raleigh. How many different states have y'all lived in? California, North Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, Illinois. You know, Ra Raleigh's made up of like all the uh, quite a few uh, small cities that all have their own little feel to them and you can find your own niche or your own kind of like well I'm a Cary person or I'm a Wake Forest person or I'm a Chapel Hill person or well, even out Fuquay Marina. I was a Fuquay Marina person. <laughs> they really do. Each one has their own character. Okay yeah. so what's the difference with Charlotte then? Charlotte is a big city and it can feel very much like you're lost in the mass of Charlotte and you don't really know 
where you belong. Whether to move to Charlotte or to Raleigh, I would say it really depends on where you were from in California. If you were from Northern California, I would definitely say Raleigh. If you were from Southern California, I would say Charlotte. It's going to feel a little bit more like Los Angeles. And mm -hmm. even then, it might feel a little bit small. Um, and you're also going to be close enough to... The NASCAR Museum. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the NASCAR Museum. No. There's nothing like that in Los Angeles. Um, uh, Ash... Uh, Asheville. Asheville. Yeah. Uh, which you're, is like yeah, you're California be, light. Yeah, yeah. you're going to be close <laughs> enough to Asheville that you feel like you can find your people. Uh, your artsy fartsy people and the mountains and have that experience. Whereas if you're from Northern California, you're going to be used to a lot more agricultural setting, something a little bit sleepier, a lot more academic, a lot more Silicon Valley like, a lot more type of hometown brewery feel to it. Believe it or not, a lot of people argue about which city is bigger. You would think that that's an easy thing to figure out. The overall perception is that Charlotte is bigger than Raleigh, and that is true, but it's also not true because it's more complicated than it might seem. The thing is, the cities are different, and we have to use a measurement that applies to both. For the sake of clarity, we're going to look at the combined statistical area for each location, and I'm going to explain what that includes so you know what we're talking about. It's important to note that the metropolitan statistical area can be changed. These are areas that are identified by the Census Bureau as areas that have a high degree of economic and social integration. Now, I'm not saying that I'm aware of any upcoming changes, but I will say that the Triangle MLS, which is what we use in Raleigh for home searches, just last year joined with the Longleaf Pines MLS, which is down in the Fayetteville, Sanford, and Pinehurst area. The reason they did this was because there's a significant overlap in where buyers are searching. Parts of the Longleaf Pines MLS is only 35 minutes from downtown Raleigh. It's way cheaper to live downtown there. So understandably, we have many people moving from big cities that don't blink an eye at a 45 to 60 minute commute to save a couple hundred thousand dollars or more. Will these areas eventually become part of the Raleigh MSA? I don't know, but I just want you to truly understand when you look at Raleigh and you look at Charlotte, it only makes sense to look at the land mass combined with population because those are the things that determine what kinds of amenities and stores and jobs are available close to wherever you live in each city. The Charlotte MSA is a total of 65 89 square miles with a population of 2.7 million, almost 2.8 million. The Raleigh MSA is a total of 4766 square miles with a population of just over 2 million. If they did decide to add those extra counties to the Raleigh MSA, it would probably be about the size of Charlotte's MSA, maybe even bigger, and the land area of it is pretty much the same size. I think the population density of the county in which each city resides is the main thing that impacts the way the city feels. Wake County, which is home to Raleigh, is bigger with fewer people than Charlotte's Mecklenburg County. Wake's population density is about 1,300 people per square mile, and in Charlotte, there's about 2,000 people per square mile in the county. The other big difference is that suburbs around Raleigh really flow into the city as one, but the suburbs in Charlotte almost seem like an afterthought. They feel more disconnected, and the city dominates the county. Now, Raleigh is way better when it comes to access and availability of parks. The Trust for Public Lands analyzes the green space available to residents by city. They ranked Raleigh number 58 out of the 100 largest cities and Charlotte ranked 85 out of 100 with 100 being the lowest score. It's a little surprising that both cities scored so low since Raleigh in particular is known for its large number of parks, but the way the rankings were done impacted those lower than expected scores. Rankings were based on walkability of parks. Raleigh has tons of parks, but generally you do have to get in a car and drive to them because things are more spread out than the cities that scored the highest, which are very dense cities like Washington, D.C., New York City, etc. We can't compete against that, but compared to each other, Charlotte scored half as well on investment and half as well on amenities as Raleigh did. And Charlotte scored only a quarter as well as Raleigh on access, which is the measurement of how far residents live from the closest park. Charlotte simply does not have the sheer number of parks that Raleigh has in close proximity to most residents. When it comes to sports, Charlotte has more professional teams than we do here in Raleigh. Charlotte has the NFL, NBA, MLS teams, as well as NASCAR. Raleigh has an NHL hockey team, and college sports are extremely popular here, with the city competition between Duke, UNC, and State being a big driver of local culture and events. So, fine, Charlotte wins for the most professional sports, and Raleigh residents have to drive three hours to watch a Panthers game. Where Charlotte really shines is in what I like to call vacation amenities. 
Charlotte is home to Carowinds and Carolina Harbor, Great Wolf Lodge, U.S. National Whitewater Center, which arguably may be the coolest place in the world. Raleigh can't even come close to competing with these things. However, there are two points that I want to make about picking a hometown that I think are really important to think through. Well, we don't have flashy amenities like Charlotte. There's something to be said about the micro community focused activities and events throughout the Raleigh area that might go unnoticed, but really play such a big part of our local culture and the ability for people to really connect with each other and form community bonds. If you're in Raleigh, you're going to spend your time going to concerts at the many venues throughout the city. We've got the larger venues like Walnut Creek and Deepak, but there are tons of smaller venues as well. There really is something at every music level happening practically daily during the season, and these are events where you might know the performers because they're part of the community. So you're going to be enjoying music, visiting farmers markets, again getting to know those people or the many agritourism farms throughout the area, and the parks really aren't just green spaces where you can get outside. Every town in the Triangle has classes and events that happen at the park and in the community centers. There's disc golf courses, pickleball, stand-up paddleboarding, and classes where you can learn to throw pottery, learn metalsmithing, be part of a community band or orchestra. I feel like sometimes in the conversation about the big stuff that dominates Charlotte, the true value of the community-focused activities get overlooked in Raleigh. In Raleigh, we've got 20 community centers and Charlotte has 21. Now remember, Charlotte has a much denser population than Raleigh, and numerically it's 25% larger. Raleigh seems to make a much bigger investment in the community amenities and not as much in the vacation amenities. I guess whether you think this is a good thing or a bad thing is totally up to how you live your life and how you spend your time. So this is something I want to know. If you live in Charlotte or if you have lived there in the past, how often do you go to the big vacation amenities? Do you go to the water park every weekend during the summer or is that just something that happens once a year or for birthdays? You know, this is the kind of thing I hear about in places like Atlanta too. Atlanta has got tons of these vacation style amenities, but people I've spoken to in the past have told me that they're just not accessible. You can't even get to them because the traffic is so bad. So is it, does it feel like that in Charlotte? Do you actually use these things? With all those amenities and people visiting to enjoy them comes traffic. Charlotte's traffic is three times as bad as Raleigh's. Charlotte ranks 35th for traffic congestion in the U.S. and 318 in the world, while Raleigh ranks 104 in the U.S. and 619 in the world. So there's a cost to the amenities and we have to ask ourselves whether that cost is worth it. Interestingly, Charlotte is the one city in North Carolina that has a public rail system. For whatever reason, that has failed to take the pressure off the traffic congestion in the city. If you're trying to choose between Raleigh and Charlotte, you have to think about how often you would use the amenities available and if they're worth it to you. I know this is starting to sound like it might be a video that's slanted towards Raleigh and I know that half of you are thinking, of course, she's a realtor. She's trying to get business. Wah, wah, wah. But truthfully, I really am just telling you what I think. But where you decide to live really depends on what's important to you. However, I'm getting ready to tell you the one thing that could make me move to Charlotte location. Actually, there's another thing I really like. We'll talk about that in a minute. Location really depends on what's important to you. I grew up in South Florida and I know how often most people who live in South Florida go to the beach. Almost never. You can never get that sand out of your car. But if I lived closer to the mountains, I'm pretty sure it would be a weekend event, like all the time. While I'm not a hiker or anything like that, I love, love, love driving through the beautiful countryside with the mountain scenery and stopping in every single small town along the way, going into all the shops, talking to all the shop owners, asking them what business is like, what it feels like to live there, and just getting to know people and seeing the culture and community of the all these little micro communities. That is my favorite thing in the world to do, but it's two and a half hours to anything close to that in Raleigh, and it's also two hours to the beach. And the drive to the beach is pretty ugly also, flat and scrubby. You really start getting mountain views about an hour outside of Charlotte. That is a huge draw for me. If you're more of a beach person, Raleigh might be better. Raleigh is far enough away to avoid hurricanes, and close enough that you can make a day trip out of it. But if you prefer the mountains, Charlotte's the clear winner. Now, the next thing that I really loved about Charlotte was the downtown. When comparing the two downtowns, Charlotte just totally wins out if you're looking for something that actually feels like a city. I'm not a city person at all. I grew up in the suburbs and I've spent almost no time in cities. I don't care for crowds and honestly, I've never been attracted to the vibe of a city. I don't know if it's maybe because I'm getting older. Maybe I just literally have never been to anything except small cities like Raleigh and I just didn't see the point in visiting larger cities. But when I got to Charlotte and started walking around the city, I immediately got what it was that people like about cities. The energy was very cool and the buzz of so many 
many people around, doing so many things. Thing, the bigger the city, people don't look at you. So this is Charlotte, and people don't make eye contact here. But in Greensboro, people said hello, people made eye contact, it was different. And it was kind of fun stopping to talk to people with the camera um, and hearing people's stories. It was kind of like my little small town John's, but there was more people to talk to. I used to also live overseas, so I lived in the Netherlands um, in a town called Blumendahl. I'd go back there in a heartbeat. It was awesome. What was it? I'm going to retire here in Charlotte. Oh, that's I amazing. I love Charlotte. I've been here 20 years. I came here. I didn't really want to come here at the time. It was kind of a little bit under duress. Family was moving here and sure. situation just didn't move here. And I've grown to love this place. I didn't Amazing. think I'd get into park and recreation, but here I am, the director of park and recreation, and working with people like Beth Poovey, we've done some tremendous things, and this is one it's of our first It's a beautiful garden. I love it. I love uh, it. That we built here, following a master plan to call for four parks in Charlotte's uptown four wards, and, and we've been able to achieve it. I lived in New York before. Okay. How about you? I'm from here. Okay. So you prefer Charlotte to New York? How yes. come? Um, New York is really busy. And I do kind of like how a little bit more quiet Charlotte is. And like, you know, just the quietness and everything, but still being able to have the city-like feel to it. I want to go to New York City. Yeah. OK. So because of the diversity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Part of that, I think, is being young and haven't you haven't been other places. You have to go and experience and see other places. So there's a part of just like youth where you're just like, get me out of here. Wherever you're from, you're just like, you got to go. But uh, I just love listening to people's experiences and stories. And you can get those in a city in a way that you can't in a suburb just for sheer volume of people to talk to. It's kind of like why Humans of New York is such a fascinating page to follow. There's just so much variety. For sure, Charlotte beats Raleigh in this regard. But again, how important that is to your decision about where to live depends on how important access to a city is to you because you don't get this in Raleigh. For me, as long as I have a camera with me and can listen to people's stories and share them, I really like having access to a city. As far as bars and restaurants, Ooh. I personally could care less, honestly. If I have one or two good places where people know me rather than finding a new place every night, I don't need that kind of variety in my life, but some people really do. So when you boil it down, a city is really about how much variety you need. If you need more, Charlotte's gonna be better for you. In Charlotte, the median home price is 382,000 and in Raleigh, it's 401,000. Months of supply are identical in Raleigh and Charlotte, which means it's gonna be about as difficult to purchase a home in Raleigh as it is in Charlotte, but Redfin does still calculate Raleigh as a more competitive of market than Charlotte. Although I'll say that as I was gathering this data, I noticed that just about all the other cities in North Carolina, the Triad, Wilmington, Fayetteville, Sanford, all the small cities are much more competitive than Raleigh and Charlotte. It should be really interesting to follow what happens with those cities. Okay, vote down in the comments, Raleigh or Charlotte, and tell me why. If you like this video, you might also like this video I did a long time ago when I had totally different hair, but it's still a good video.